Well, here's a question. Can you fly a private jet VFR? I'm here in uh, Gary, Indiana, headed back to Indianapolis. Let's see what happens. Premier 390, Golf Mike, Roger, runway 12, you're cleared for takeoff, right turn out to the south, approved. Premier 390, Golf Mike, you're exiting Delta airspace for advisory southbound, Chicago Center's on 132.5. Support Delta Delta, say your destination on the airport. Uh, Gary Jet Center. For Delta Delta. Put in support Delta Delta, Roger, turn left one slow, then it'll be a right on Alpha, left at Alpha 6 for the Jet Center. Roger that, thank you. Uh, turning left at uh, Charlie. Point one nautical miles west southwest one thousand five feet MSL. Approach lights runway three zero out of service. Birds, deer, and coyote activity on and about the airport. Waterfowl throughout the glass out the airspace. Five initial contact give information Yankee. Definitely engage information Yankee Charlie one seven four five Zulu weather observation. Wind 14012, visibility 15, sky conditions 15,000 scattered, sea wing 25,000 broken. Temperature 19 or dew point 1, altimeter 3023. Visual approaching use, landing and departing runway 12. Notum and advisories. Ground control frequency is for vehicles only. Aircraft contact Gary Charm frequency 125.6 for all services. Unlit stacks 1.32 nautical miles north northeast 815 feet MSL. 3.1 nautical miles west southwest 1,005 feet MSL. Approach lights runway 30 out of service. Birds, deer, and coyote activity on and about the airport. Waterfowl throughout the glass out the airspace. Vice initial contact give information Yankee. Information Yankee 1745 Zulu weather observation. Wind 14012, visibility 15, sky conditions 15,000 scattered, sea wing 25,000 broken. Temperature 19 or dew point 1, altimeter 3023. Visual approaching use, landing and departing runway 12. Notums and advisories. Ground control frequency is for vehicles only. Aircraft contact Gary Charm frequency 125.6 for all services. Unlit stacks 1.32 nautical miles north northeast 815 feet MSL. 3.1 nautical miles west southwest 1,005 feet MSL. Approach lights runway 30 out of service. Birds, deer, and coyote. Gary Tower, Premier 390, Golf Mike. Premier 
390 Golf Mike, Gary Tear. 390 Golf Mike is uh, information Yankee or just uh, VFR southbound. 390 Golf Mike, where are you parked? We are at uh, Coleman, Zero Golf Mike. 390 Golf Mike, runway 12, taxi via Alpha Cross, runway 20. In the altimeter 3022. Okay, 3022, it's uh, Alpha to runway 12 and cross runway 20, Zero Golf Mike. Okay, so we are Gary Jet Center is one three zero point nine or five. Yeah, for our southbound, that's really about all she needs to know. Checklist done here. Beautiful clear day today. Short flight down to Indianapolis, so I actually wouldn't uh, get up above 18,000 feet anyway. And uh, I've been flying all week. I don't really feel like talking to anybody again. So I'm going to do one of the many great joys of aviation, and that is fly VFR, do a little sightseeing, and just enjoy myself. Gary Tower, Premier, Zero Golf Mike, we will be ready at the end. Premier 390 Golf Mike, Roger, runway 12, you're cleared for takeoff, right turn out to the south approved. Runway 12, cleared for takeoff, 390 Golf Mike. Hundred foot long runway or 8,800 foot long runway. So plenty of runway here at Gary. For those of you coming into Chicago, Gary is a good alternative to Midway or O'Hare if you're going to the loop. So here we go. Your damper on. Flaps coming up. And turn it to the south. Items.
Off we go. So 112 nautical miles down to Indy, says. She's gonna clear me off to, she might give me Chicago frequency, but. Uh, American 390 Golf Link, you're exiting Delta Air Space for advisory southbound Chicago Center on 132.5 for exchange proof. Good day. All righty, we'll see you, Zerg off mic. Have a good day. That is it. Monroe traffic, 75706, crosswind, runway 20, Monroe traffic. So I'm sure many of you will question the um, how wise it is to accept the VFR flight. Traffic, traffic. There's some climbing traffic. Traffic that we're climbing into. So it's my responsibility to avoid that traffic. Little airliner out there. Looks like an RJ. So I'm sure some of you will question how wise it is to uh, do a VFR flight in a jet. Have a good one. Yay, thank you. And I will tell you that I would not hesitate to do it in the right circumstances. I have all the uh, collision avoidance equipment on board. It's a beautiful VFR day. It's a short flight. And this is kind of what VFR was made for. So, had I been on an IFR flight plan, I would be going no higher. Probably be traveling a little further because I'd have a prescribed route that I'd have to be on. And I'd be jumping all over the frequencies. Every once in a while, it's just nice to take a break and uh, do something without uh, having to talk on the radio all the time. go up to 17,500 feet, which is a VFR altitude. Okay, back in uh, Indy Exec, the winds are 110 and 8. 10 miles visibility, it's clear. Same temperature here. There that it is here, which is 20 degrees Celsius. Right now, I'm planning a straight in runway 18. I rode a flight today. I did uh, Gary to. Lafayette VOR, which is Bravo Victor Tango, and then straight to uh, Indy Exec. I'm actually going to set up the visual approach on runway 18, three mile final. Okay, I got it all set up. Second of traffic, 
Supervisor Victor entering a left downwind for one four. Okay, accelerating out. There's really no speed limit at this altitude other than subsonic. Airframe is limited to 0 0.80 Mach or 320 knots, whatever comes first. And it looks like in this instance 320 knots will be my limiting speed. coming in on the 320 knots. I'm going to have to throttle back to keep the Just uh, east of Lafayette is Hilltop Moa, which is a uh, relatively large military operations area. The uh, A-10s out of Fort Wayne, where I used to fly F-16s out of Fort Wayne, the A-10s use that airspace quite a bit. So I'm going to come just to the uh, west of it. I don't know if they're using it today or not. It doesn't really matter. As a general rule, I stay out of uh, military airspace, even though legally you can't fly through it. Knowing what goes on in those areas, I would suggest it. But it's entirely in your right to do so. what you hear in the background there. You get up this high, you start hearing the Unicoms from several different airports. set up. Sure. 
shortly going to start descending. Coming up on left yet. Okay, 45 miles away, I can actually see the airport out there. wonder why I flew this at the higher altitude as opposed to if I was just going to fly a VFR flight, just why not fly it at a couple thousand feet AGL. And the reason is there's more birds down there than there are up here. And one thing that I worry about is a bird strike. Turbulence whatsoever. A little more comfortable for her, too. Okay, below 10,000 feet, you'd be below 250 knots. Traffic layer 961, Mike Mike's bad. It's 12 miles to the south will be entering left downwind for 18 Okay, he's 12 to the south. I am 24 to the north. So I will watch for him. At, uh, India exact layer 961, Mike Mike. Any traffic 2872 is turn 19, glider tow, Alexandria. Uh, five minutes or so, we have four passengers. Um, do you know if their car or ride is there? I think they have someone picking them up, I'm not sure. I believe their car is out here. Okay, is it on the ramp or is it in the parking lot? It's on the ramp. Perfect, thank you. See you in a few. You're welcome, you safe. Water guy traffic, 126 Yankee, it's a rough state. 111 on the county, full stop. Okay, try to game it a little bit so that I can come in 
in right after him. Zek traffic clear 961, Mike Mike, left downwind, 1886. Executive traffic premier, 390 Golf Mike, we're 19 to the north, planning a uh, straight in behind uh, Mike Mike. We'll make it work. Okay, just kind of throttle back here, giving him some room to land. Exec traffic, Premier 390 Golf Mike, still uh, 12 miles to the north, planning the straight in, 1 8. Executive traffic premier 390 Golf Mike say five mile final runway 1A. Alexandria, traffic, Pony 872, entering downwind, runway 9, Alexandria. Company that owns that aircraft is a uh, seatbelt manufacturer.
500. Like there's another premiere underneath the uh, canopy. Hey everyone, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This particular video was edited by a longtime viewer, Mike Helton. He offered to do the uh, editing duties on this one, and I think he did a great job. So hats off to uh, Mike for helping me out with that. As always, you can follow me on Instagram. There's the address. And for all your P1D gear needs, you can get that at PremierOneDriver.com. Appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. <laughs>